it's kind of fun going back to this game after not having played a few days because while I could just rewatch the last episode obviously to figure out what I left myself I'm not doing it so let's see what is the state of things in the country, the Empire of Alba? We're still looking to build a bloodline. And we are six wars away from doing it. So that's good. We are looking to see a holy war being waged on Lombardy. We have a few minor titles to give away. Court Jester looking for a lady. Doesn't like us anyway, there you go. The Keeper of Sawans should be someone who needs a little bit better of an opinion of us. And we have some commanders to fall onto the battlefield. Let's see. Maybe we can find someone a little bit better. Yeah, he's amazing. He is a crusader as well. A veteran crusader. Amazing. There are some really good people out there currently looking to be employed as commanders. Especially our crusader friend there. Fairly young, 34. Sure we can get him a wife. Let's check our court because it looks like we have some vassals that should be doing their thing. Lovely. Lovely again. So, my brother, really worthwhile. Let's see, he isn't great at anything. Oh, he's the least worst as a counselor, so let's have him do that. And fabricate a claim for us in um, somewhere. Let's have him... Fabricate a claim in Where would we need a claim down here maybe he dies doing it So we're waiting for our vassals to Well not our vassals, but our Friendly neighborhood tributary. Just some something we should look toward. Maybe Saxony as a tributary. We aren't too strong right now. Might make a good tributary. Yeah. Definitely. Let's have the Saxons be our tributaries. Or a tribute from them. Nope. Council doesn't want us to do that. Not even a holy war? What is it? Why do you hate this idea? Uh... Okay then. Let's see how the Empire is doing. Quite well, so declaring war against them is going to be difficult. I think the building of a holy war has stopped. So we'll declare some more wars against these guys. Why does no one want to go to war? What's what's up with this? with the council being so well, there's two returning favors which we will just kick from the council because how dare they she's great and all but let's have some loyalists up in here can do this our son very good you shall be Replaced with a loyalist commander. Not all that great, but... Ah, I think you're actually a loyalist. So replacing loyalist with a loyalist isn't... 
Oh, that's sensible. Good. Oh, well. It'll be fine. You go collect some taxes here. And we appoint our newly recruited commanders to their positions. Both titles can be created. Don't really care. Someone just switched positions somewhere. Don't have a region. Who likes this? Let's have our son be our designated heir. Why not? And our advisor position is free, which definitely goes to this guy. Who hates us. For pretty good reason. Both. Alright, let's let's call him on the council. Everyone is kinda of bloody in my country. Negotiate with coal. Approach the adventurer. What what would we need to do so they stop raiding us? Offer the county of Yona. He wants to settle. But our vassal obviously wouldn't be too happy with having a county taken away from him. So no, thank you very much. You just keep on raiding. And we shall fight our enemy as they have ventured so close to us. And we shall, of course, get both the coins and the glory. Let's find a court physician. Maybe we can find someone good. Erd... Erdevulu? Erdevulu? An interesting thing. Interesting name for a kingdom. Alright, so... This guy would be our... Physician. Yeah, he looks good. He's a mystic, he's a monk, he's a renowned physician. And people are just going to be a little bit upset with us. Our temple vessels. Which, you know, is okay these days. We don't really need those taxes. I mean, it's nice to have them and everything, but we don't need them as such. Right, we're going to invest in a workshop again, because that has worked out decently well in the past. Subject was converted. How are you doing on the whole county? Still working. Apparently my vassal of Mercia has had his fill of being raided. He's raising his own troops to try and take care of them. He seems to be successful as well. Speaking of successful. He's slowly but surely whittling him down. And he doesn't have any troops anymore, so... This war should be won reasonably soon as well. One of my courtiers was a blessed and he has passed now. Another one. All the blessed are passing. 
How blessed can they be? And another workshop. Let's check if we can't build something sensible here. Definitely in the castle town. Let's have a keep. Good investment. The Holy Child. Midahu, a child from Umahain, has caused quite a commotion today when he demanded an audience with me, claiming that the Holy Ghost appeared to him in a dream last night, ordering him to take up arms, gather all the true followers of Christ, and lead a crusade to free the Holy Land. He concluded his sermon by commanding me to provide him with money, weapons, and the men to help him fight against the infidels in the name of our Lord. Are you any good? He is the voice of Jesus. And he leads the children crusade. That's really cool. I think we shall support him. Who are we to argue with the voice of Christ? So we become zealous. Which leads to other people hating us a bit. But our temple vassals being a little bit more happy with us. Right. End your plot. He refuses. I don't really care about the plots. Kingdom of Denmark. What's up with our council? Hating our wars. Oh, we have been working fairly well towards a stronger ruler and a weaker council, but still. Right, we've won this one. So he's now our vassal. There we go. Should we go for a holy war or extort a tribute? Wait, maybe they've changed their, na uh, their mind on Saxony as well. Yeah, okay, they, they just weren't willing to have another war waged. Let's see how they might feel about switching this. Nope. Definitely not. <laughs> Maybe the obligations, because these were a little bit skewed around. they also not really looking great. Alright. So... Don't we have a de jure claim here from our vassal? Yeah, we do. Let's go for that so he can't call in anyone really sensibly. Let's get the island free as much as we can. Now we shall call in our allies as is tradition. And for this, we shall raise our vassals. And just bunch them all on there. Not going to be any sort of dangerous presence. A very small piece we're fighting for, but... 
it'll be worth it building toward our bloodline here. Just five more wars. Be young enough to manage it. Good. Getting some technology ready. Oh no. A merchant found out that our coins were counterfeit, so we lose some prestige over that. Oh, excuse me. Hello. It seems with a recent patch they have changed some of these. Military organization is still the same. Siege equipment is the same, but this is new. Melee techniques. Heavy infantry attack, pikeman attack, heavy cavalry attack. The chance flank leaders choosing better melee tactics increases. Skirmish tactics. Oh, interesting. Very interesting indeed. Infantry is now really good. Really, really good pick. But so is this. Let's invest a little bit here. That's interesting. Interesting indeed. What else have they changed? Cities and temples. That was called differently before, I believe. Something like city infra infrastructure. Proved keeps. Which I believe we need anyway. Check. Proved keeps to four. Yeah, so why not... Invest a little bit here. We need to get this up anyway. Alright. Interesting. Sneaky little patch. Sneaky little change. There he is sending his armies. We shall take this castle and then confront him in the field. The Danish he heathens. Whoops. This flank can be led by our crusader. Alright, let's go confront him. Where is he going? To our here. He gets the advantage. Oh, look who's leading himself. King Filkir. We as an emperor are above such petty trifling matters as leading our troops ourselves. Don't need such. Oh, we lost the commander. That's quite a shame. Have this Claymont be a commander and put him in command somewhere. I always forget that you have to click this and you can't click that the other thing. Right, right, right. He shall lead some troops personally. He'll link up with his troops, hopefully. Or do weird things. We're not gonna bother. He might just walk around over here. He's not going to bring enough troops to make a difference. That is pretty certain. So we'll just siege this down. Take it. And then take him out. See, this is building. Let's have barracks. I think more of barracks. All right. The unmoving sea. Fidahu claimed that the tides of the Mediterranean Sea 
who'd split open at the arrival of his army, allowing his warriors to cross unscathed and march all the way to the Holy Land. Unfortunately, the Lord did not fulfill the promise made to the young crusader, and now the large force of peasants and children languishes in Genoa, looking for a way to travel to Asia. Some of the less determined members of the crusade have already lost their faith, but Fidehu remains strong in his conviction, persuading new, hopeless recruits every day. Well, let's give them some money to buy passage. Or... send some food. Or I will pray that they find passage. I know, it's a high price. Let's send some troops to protect them. Now that's way too expensive. We will build up the smaller ones first. Right, we have taken everything here. Now we shall go meet them on the f field somewhere? Where is he going? Probably going to try and link up somewhere with his own troops. More technology, goody goody. Always happy about that. Ah, he's going to siege up here. So we'll defeat him there. A priest has arrived and asked for an audience. We gain a, s a finger of Saint John to protect, as we shall. Go away. Go away. Don't don't mess with my council. This is where they choose to siege apparently. Oh no, we're going sick. Let's see what our court physician can do. Ah uh, not the worst treatment, but also not the best. Oh no. Yeah, we would like to fight here. Oh, that was quick. Lovely. Let's see how the battle goes. For some reason, we don't have a center leading. Why ever that happened? This is why you need to look at your armies from time to time and figure out what the hell is going on. Let's put him in the center and him on the flank. And continue to chase our friend here. An emperor to remember. While avoiding being forgotten entirely is my primary concern, it is also equally important for me to think about how I actually do wish posterity to think of me. That's really nice awkward there. How can I make sure that when I die, future generations will speak in awe and wonder about my accomplishments as emperor and feel inspired to emulate me? Well... Forge your bloodline through ordinary means. Proving... think now this this is one of those situations where I might pick something that makes sense and is mechanically sound easy to get but he is clearly a steward of the realm but also a warrior so I believe his leaning would be to bring prosperity and knowledge to the realm that is what we shall pick And let's see how that goes. Yeah, he's fleeing to that island there. Yeah, he's locked in. He's got to fight whether he wants it or not. 
Still gets a defensive bonus, but it's not going to help him. The workshop we funded was built successfully. Lovely. Oh. Oh, they're winning. No, they almost won. They almost won. Impressive. Alright, let's offer some peace here. Stand down our troops. I think our retinue kind of won that last battle. Through their defensive capabilities. That was very, really, really impressive, actually. Alright, so only this and this is kind of left. But we have a huge truce Alice waiting for us. Who are you at war with? Austrasia. That's not really big, is it? Like this little thing up here. Wow. I'm really curious how the Child Crusade is going to end up. And how the Empire of Alba is going to progress as well.